Ooh, all the way up. <laughs> 14 way black up. American women are now one of the largest groups ever to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. It's the largest freestanding mountain in the world and the tallest in Africa. They call themselves Sisters to the Summit. You are watching the moment when they reach Kilimanjaro's highest point at more than 19,000 feet earlier this month. That's the length of almost 54 football fields. The women rage in age from 31 to 53, but they don't look a day over 25. They go. took an eight-day journey <laughs> up and down the so-called roof of Africa through a variety of climates. Two of the 14 women had to turn back mid-trip because of altitude sickness. That would have been me. If I had been there, it would have been three of 15 had to turn back because <laughs> of altitude sick sickness. But the remaining 12 were happy to say made it to the two highest summit points. First on CBS Mornings, all 14 of these amazing women are here with us. Nate, would you do the introduction? Oh, yeah, I got you. All right, so it's Christy, Christina, Danielle, <laughs> Jennifer, Lisa, LaShawn, <laughs> Malak, Marianne, Naja, <laughs> Naomi, Tanisha, Taylor, Janelle, and Erica. Yeah, Good that could morning. almost be a song, Nate yeah, Burles. That could almost be a song. <laughs> I know. You guys noticed the DMX. Thing. Right, right, right. We all got it. But, Erica, I got to start with you because we have to either thank you or blame you for this. Exactly. <laughs> because you were turning 50. Yeah. You sent out an email to all of your friends, to a lot of your friends, and you said what? I said, hey, I have an idea. I'd like to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. My dear friend Malak and I have been talking about this for five years now. Let's do it. It's uh -huh. my year of turning 50. And I had a strategy where I did not want to put any pressure on anyone because I know that climbing Mount Kilimanjaro is yes. not for the faint of heart. Yes. And 18 people responded. 18? 18. Yes. And then you got down to 14. Yes. Well, like, Erica just said you all have wanted to do this for five years. Why did you want to do it? You know what? What were you we, thinking? We have similar travel sensibilities and mm. we both want to see the world. We're talking about Antarctica next. Uh -huh. I mean, we want to see the world and, and, and we want to discover places and take ourselves out of our comfort zone. So we been talking about it, but I'll tell you, she told me to plan it, and I never did. <laughs> and you so, never did. But when I got her email, it was like instantaneous. So, Janelle, how did you all train? Mm. Because you all didn't know each other. The, 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 the common bond here was Erica. So it's not like you all knew each other or you all live in the same neighborhood. So how did you train? Well, over the summer, a lot of the women were on Martha's Vineyard, so they started doing <laughs> hikes together. Martha's Vineyard, not the same as Mount Kilimanjaro. Not the same. <laughs> not the same. Yeah. But for me, I couldn't travel to Martha's Vineyard, so I broke my boots in, in Brooklyn, <laughs> going to Trader Joe's and Target. So yeah. we all had to find our ways to train. So whether it was on the treadmill, doing small hikes in New Jersey, or going oh. in Harlem, that, that was really just our training strategies. Now, LaShawn, you had to turn back because of altitude sickness. Yes. Like, how tough was that decision? And what does that feel like for people who don't know? Yeah. Well, it wasn't really up to me. My uh, O2, my oxygenation went down to 56. Mm. Mm. And it's supposed to be at least 100. 100, yeah. So it wasn't really up to me. The uh, porters made the decision yeah. to carry me down the mountain. And we're talking life or death situations. Let's be yeah, clear. Some of yeah. these things are really dangerous, right? Yeah. I yeah mean, it's I not felt, like you wimped out. It's, it it yeah. was really very, very serious. Yeah, like it took me, I took the, the other ladies like seven hours to do it. I did it in 16 hours. Oh. And, I was, and I kept throwing up. I was really weak. Mm. When I got back, I was like, I'll just sleep and tomorrow I'll, I'll get you up and I'll feel yeah. better. And then my watch started beeping. Your heart rate is high, your heart rate is high. Mm. But so I, you made the right decision. Oh, for sure. But, but I look at all of you today. I know, Erica, you didn't hike in those shoes. Yeah. Would, you, would you all describe yourselves as a high-maintenance group? And I'd say that with great respect and love. <laughs> for somebody who identifies. <laughs> would you say you were a high-maintenance group? Well, listen, before we even started the climb, we were like, do we have toilets? Do we have showers, right? <laughs> right. We, we, need the, we need at least three of each uh -huh. uh, to do this, though we did abandon them because the showers, the reward was not better than the effort uh -huh. of actually going to a shower in rocks and dirt and, in co and being cold. Right. Yeah. Um, and, but the other thing that I think was a game changer, not just because we're high maintenance, but because, <laughs> but it, it helped us, the strategy to summit, and also we bonded with the porters. Mm. The Tell porters, us about the porters on, on the mountain. How did that work, porters? What's so that mean? we decided that we wanted to give ourselves the best chance to summit. And so we decided we weren't going to carry our day packs. We were just going to roll with our trekking poles and our water. So our snacks, our first aid, everything went with our personal porter. So somebody's carrying it. Mm -hmm. Someone's carrying it, which was very unique on the mountain because everybody who is climbing the mountain, they're in it, salt of the earth kind of people, granola. And we were the <laughs> only group. We were the only group that had someone walking beside us carrying our backpack. How many porters did you have? 72. 72. <laughs> oh, wow. 
bigger studio. <laughs> we made it. We made it to the, we made it to the summit. So, so this is <laughs> <laughs> hey, where they carrying the bags are carrying y'all. <laughs> oh, that kind of talking to me. They carry me. They Seventy-two. Oh I love so, it. So you guys made it to the top this month or last month? Two weeks ago. Two, Two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Is anyone still sore? Yes. Yeah, you still have the effect. Absolutely. We, we can't feel our toes. toes. Yeah. Our toes are literally numb. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So how did bathing work, Janelle? How did that work? So we had a shower there, but it was basically looked like a porter potty with a bucket uh -huh. that they would fill with hot water. And so you would go in there. You really only had a couple of minutes to take your shower once you pulled the lever. And you had to basically take your clothes off, put it outside of a chair. And once you finished your shower, you had some fresh clothes and you had to change in the shower because it's outside. The porters are looking at you. Other groups are looking at yeah. you. Yeah. So the bathing was something everyone was like, day three, we don't need to do this anymore. <laughs> and Erica forgot her towel the first time. Yes. Oh, we heard yes. her screaming, I don't have a towel. <laughs> but let's do rapid fire questions because I want to get everybody involved. Yeah. Uh, yay or nay, thumbs up or down. Was the climb the most challenging thing you've ever done? Oh. Oh, oh, Erica oh. says no. Okay. Did you ever want to give up at any point? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you make lifelong friendships? Oh. Ah. Oh. Would you do it again with your spouse or significant other? Hard. 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 No. 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 Everybody no. no. Is it because of the climb or because, because of the significant other? <laughs> I think we know the answer to that. Okay. <laughs> and when you came back, LaShawn, you all had set up a thing. What, what did you do when you reached the top? What did you do when you reached the very top? We, did we you dance. We had like, lunch, and then we did a TikTok to Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Last yeah. yes or no, should Nate climb a mountain and get into the wide world of the outdoors? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right, looks like we got our next story. Uh -oh. Thanks for setting that up, Tony. Uh -oh. And we appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Bravo. Good luck. Bravo, Bravo, ladies. Bravo. Next adventure, Sisters to the Summit. We'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. Bravo.